This film is intended to familiarize users with the Träger Exam 2500. It does not replace the instructions for use supplied with the instrument. Before going into the operation of the Träger Exam 2500, we'd like to give you an overview of the instrument. The Träger XM2500 is a handy, extremely robust device which can detect up to four gases simultaneously. It's fitted with a matrix display. Beneath the display are the plus key and the OK key. Above the display is a horn. On the left and right of the device, as well as at the top, are red LEDs. At the top are one position for the CATEX sensor and three positions for the electrochemical XXS sensors. The Dreger XM2500 uses either a nickel metal hydride battery or alkaline batteries. If you use your Dreger XM2500 with rechargeable batteries, recharge it in the charger which can also be used in a vehicle using the vehicle charger mounting kit. Place the instrument inside the charger. If the red LED is flashing, the device is still charging. If the light is on continuously, the device is fully charged. Charging takes about four hours. To switch on the XM2500, Press and hold the OK key for 3 seconds. A countdown is shown in the display. The LEDs flash and the vibration alarm vibrates to show that the device has been switched on. The instrument starts the boot sequence and performs an automatic self-test. The self-test screen shows the installed software version, the special symbols, the number of days until calibration is next due, the alarm thresholds, the TWA and STEL alarm thresholds. To switch off the Dreger XM2500, press and hold the OK key and the plus key together for 3 seconds. The visual alarm flashes and the audible alarm beeps to indicate that the shutdown sequence is complete. Fresh air calibration sets the oxygen channel to 20.9% by volume and the sensors to zero. Make sure you are in an area of clean air during fresh air calibration. Press the plus key briefly three times. This symbol appears. Press the OK key to activate fresh air calibration. The flashing numbers show the actual values. Press the OK key. OK is shown in the display. Fresh air calibration is now complete. We'll start with the A1 pre-warning threshold. The alarm threshold can be changed by using the CC Vision computer software which is available free of charge on the product page of the XM2500 on the Dreger homepage www.dreger.com. The A1 alarm sounds if the concentration is higher than normal but doesn't yet constitute an acute hazard. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are all activated periodically. A1 alternates in the display with the gas concentration. An A1 alarm can be acknowledged by pressing the OK key. The alarm automatically stops as soon as the concentration drops below the defined threshold. Warning! If this alarm is activated, leave the danger area immediately. The A2 main alarm signals danger of death. An audible double tone sounds. The visual and vibration alarms are periodically repeated. A2 is shown in the display. An A2 main alarm cannot be acknowledged. 
This is how to recognize an STEL alarm. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are repeated periodically. The STEL symbol flashes in the display on the right. The gas concentration alternates with A2 on the left. Once again, you must leave the danger zone immediately. The alarm cannot be acknowledged. In a TWA alarm, audible, visual and vibration alarms are also periodically repeated. The TWA symbol flashes in the display on the right. A2 alternates with the gas concentration. You must leave the danger zone immediately. The A2 alarm cannot be acknowledged. The TWA and STEL values are deleted as soon as the device is reset. If the battery of your Träger XM2500 will only last for another 20 minutes or so, the battery pre-alarm is activated. The audible, visual and vibration alarms are activated periodically. The battery symbol flashes at the bottom right. You can acknowledge the alarm by pressing the OK key. The main battery alarm indicating that the battery is about to run flat is signalled by the audible, visual and vibration alarms. A countdown in the display counts down from 10, after which the device switches itself off. If this X symbol appears in the display and the audible, visual and vibration alarms are activated, there is an instrument error. Although you can acknowledge the alarm with the OK key, the X symbol remains in the display. Use another device instead and contact Dreger service quoting the error message. An overrange alarm, indicating that the measuring range has been exceeded, is signalled by the audible, visual and vibration alarms. In addition, this symbol alternates in the display with the A2 main alarm symbol. The ambient air contains concentrations exceeding the measuring range of the sensor used. Once again, leave the danger zone immediately. This alarm cannot be acknowledged. In an underrange alarm in which the measuring range is not reached, the audible, visual and vibration alarms are repeated. The underrange symbol is shown in the respective measuring field. This indicates that the measured value is negative. This can occur if, for example, a fresh air calibration has been carried out in a range in which concentrations were already present. Perform fresh air calibration immediately in an area of fresh air. This alarm cannot be acknowledged. An X symbol at the top right indicates an error. Press OK for 3 seconds. An error code is now shown in the display. To find out what this error code means, please see the technical manual posted on the product webpage at www.dreger.com. By pressing the OK key again, other error codes may be shown. To abort, Press the plus key to return the device to measuring mode. The exclamation mark on the right is used for information. Press and hold the OK key for 3 seconds. An information code is then displayed. The list of information codes is contained in the technical manual posted on the product webpage at www.dreger.com. By pressing the OK key again, additional information codes may be shown. To abort, press the plus key to return the device to measuring mode.
The XAM2500 can also be used with an external pump for atmosphere tests in confined spaces. Place the switched on device inside the pump. Press down until it clicks into place. The LEDs briefly turn green and then red, accompanied by an audible signal. The pump now starts automatically and initializes the flow test. At the same time, the yellow LED flashes and an audible signal can be heard. Now close the intake connection by kinking the hose for two seconds. The flow LED flashes red and a continuous tone can be heard. Now release the intake connection. If the LED lights up green, the device is ready to use. You can now start measuring. If the test is unsuccessful, the flow LED flashes red and a continuous tone sounds. The Draeger XM2500 has a USB infrared interface to connect the instrument to a PC. As soon as connection has taken place, PC appears in the device's display. You can now transmit or read out data. You can also change settings and alarm thresholds by using the CC Vision software which can be downloaded from the device's product webpage at www.draeger.com. You must carry out a bump test of your Draeger XM2500 in accordance with the national regulations and guidelines in force. The bump test serves to check whether the gas inlet is blocked, whether the sensors respond to gas, and whether the alarm elements are triggered. Place the switched on instrument inside the calibration cradle where it will be recognized automatically. Gas now flows automatically over the sensors and the alarms are shown. If the bump test passes, OK will flash in the display to show that the bump test is now complete. If a functional test does not take place correctly, a channel error is shown for the sensor or sensors. The device will have to be calibrated and possibly repaired. You can also carry out a bump test with a Draeger X-Dock station. Place an instrument inside the module. When you do so for the very first time, the Draeger X-Dock recognizes the device and logs it in its integrated database. The LED strip flashes blue. When the LED changes to green, the test has been completed successfully. The XDOC screen also turns green. Touch it to obtain additional information on the test results.